are live again and we're taking you guys on a camping vlog this weekend. However, our trip has already kind of started off to a little adventure. We are about 45, 50 minutes from our camping destination. And one thing that we really miss about not living in the Midwest or something that isn't the best part about living in Florida is that there are just no wineries, at least down in South Florida where we live. It's just not the great climate to grow grapes. It's way too hot down there. Well, we are north of Orlando right now, headed towards Ocala, and we just passed a sign that said Florida's largest winery. So of course we pulled in, I'm breaking dry January to do this, and we're gonna go check it out. So we got ourselves a glass of Cabernet. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. The, the grapes, unfortunately, are not grown here just because it's Florida. Um, they're from Napa Valley, but it is finished here. So, I mean, this is as close to a Florida dry red as you're gonna get. Set up camp, isn't that right? Rip dip. Here we go. As we began this weekend camping trip, I got to thinking about the purpose. I tend to find myself constantly asking the question, why? Why do we do the things we do? And what are the things that make us feel like we are living a purposeful life? What makes you feel like you are really, truly living? Of course, we could have stayed home, watched a Saturday night movie on the couch, made dinner in our kitchen like always, but those things don't necessarily make us feel alive. The conclusion to my pondering was that the purpose of doing things like a weekend camping trip is about living life just a little bit more, experiencing life to the next degree, venturing slightly out of our comfort zone. This idea of living a little more had me dreaming of adventures to come, and I think that's what it comes down to. What inspires you? What do you dream about? For me, it's continuously asking myself, how can I live a little bit more? How can I live so that at the end of my time on earth, I'm not left wondering what more I could have done to fulfill my one and only life. Mmm. <laughs> this is my first coffee on the AeroPress. I didn't have any last night when you tested it. It's good. It's really smooth. Like, I don't really understand how. <laughs> it's really good. Cheers. More. You can read it this way. <laughs> <laughs> you can slow down in slow mo. <laughs> Welcome to our campsite, which we found on Hip Camp. The thing about camping in Florida is that you kind of have to book any state parks like 11 months in advance because of course it's Florida. So it's warm pretty much year round. So instead, we found this place literally last minute this week on Hip Camp. I will link it in the description for you to check out. But let me show you around our little campsite. As you can see, we are on a lake. This is Lake Weir right outside of Ocala, Florida. And next, we are gonna go to our fire pit pondering area. But this is where we're gonna have good conversation. It's where we're gonna sit in silence and think. We're gonna roast marshmallows. We're gonna make campfire pies because Evan's never made a campfire pie before. So we're gonna show that and we're gonna just soak in the amazing views. Next, let's take you to Ripley's little section. Oh my gosh. She drank all of her water. So this is where Evan, Evan, <laughs> Evan's going to eat and drink here. <laughs> it's been a long day. I'm tired. Ripley is going to eat and drink here. And she just drank a whole bottle Ripley. of water. So we're going to get her some more because apparently she was very thirsty. Let's go to the kitchen. This is our kitchen tent. First, we have our grill, a very nice black stone that Evan didn't realize 
was a black stone. So we are going to make some burgers tonight. We have the griddle. And we also have a grill top on this side. Ripley, that's enough. Then we have our refrigerator, otherwise known as the cooler, a good old Coleman that Evan took from his dad. We actually need to get more ice. This is our cooking station where we will prep our food, where we will warm up our food with the lighters and everything and our utensils. This is our coffee station down here. We will warm up our kettle and then we will use our brand new AeroPress, which we are very excited about. This is our smaller tent, which I did not realize was quite large, actually. We have another tent as well that also has expansions on the sides. But in here, we have two sleeping mats. We don't have sleeping bags, okay? Don't hold, this, like, don't hold it against us. But we brought a lot of blankets because it's a little chilly here in Central Florida. Not what we're used to down in West Palm Beach. So this is where we'll be sleeping. And then we can wake up to these beautiful views. All right, we just finished grilling up some burgers. We got green beans down there on the fire. We're gonna have ourselves a nice Look at that beauty. first night meal. Look at that she cries like a cloud does. She rains down on me. of thunder I wonder how she sees she speaks like the wind does she whispers to me a silent secret swift and like branches that swing on a tree a willow swaying spotted shaded covers all I need she like a woman I love that woman Like a woman Should and ought to be 